BBC Wiltshire through the afternoon. This is Graham Rogers with you till four. Matthew along, of course. Matthew Smith from four o'clock. Well, if you watched Hugh Fernley Whittingstall on the River Cottage television programmes uh, and ever thought, God, that looks nice, that looks good, I'd like to try some of that. Well, now you can. You can try his new recipes as well as his old favourites at the River Cottage Canteen, which has just opened up in Bath. Uh, in fact, I've got the menu in front of me here. I'm just deciding what I'm going to have for my dinner if I go there. Very nice. I like the sound of the parsnip soup. Listen to this. Parsnip soup with crispy air-dried ham and chilli oil with homemade sourdough. Doesn't that sound nice? Five pounds. Mm. OK. Uh, well, Nicky Thompson went along to chat with Hugh Fernley Whittingstall. And <laughs> good old Nicky, direct as ever, asked him if he'd personally hand-killed any of the animals which are on the menu. No, no, I haven't. I've been uh, relatively restrained <laughs> in, 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 that, in that sort of behaviour recently. Um, no, obviously what the menu is about here is the, the very best local producers. And uh, some of them we've known for a long time and some of them are, are relatively recent, uh, kind of local to, very local to Bath discoveries. Because everything you source here is within 55 miles of Bath. Yes, funnily enough, I was longing for it to be 50, but um, our, one of our fantastic meat suppliers, uh, Siddling Brook Farm, Alistair Cooper is he here today, just over there behind me. Um, we, we did the sort of as-the-crow-flies calculation, and they're about 52 miles away from Bath, uh, so over close. in Dorset. So, <laughs> so I thought, well, what the hell, we'll go for 55. Fair enough. What is your favourite meal that you have here? I mean, there's, you know, you've got kippers on this big blackboard behind us with all your chalk menu on it. You've got amazing Cornish kippers with parsley butter, which sounds fabulous. One of my favourite things at the moment, actually, is this uh, lightly smoked uh, rump of beef. Mm which is actually an invention of our chef, Gideon. Uh, it, he's done this sort of light cold smoking, because we've got a, a cold smoker at, at River Cottage that we made ourselves. And it's not a strong, it's not like a kind of cured beef. It's just in there for a few hours before it gets grilled. And you can have it hot out of the smoker or cold and sliced as it is here in the salad. And it's just got a really subtle flavouring from the smoking. And I think it's delicious. So I'm really pleased with the, the, the menu the guys have put together. They've, they've done a great job. And it's a really nice setup is here, in here as well, actually. You've got your little cafe restaurant style. And then you go in the back and it's the comedy club. How did that work out? Well, it's one of those things that... You'd never have planned a venture like this. The, the, the things like this just have to happen, don't they? They have to happen because of people you know and, and, and people you're involved with. And actually, we, we have some good friends. Well, the Comedia guys I, I, I knew from Brighton and through my partner at River Cottage, Rob, uh, old friends of his. And we always liked what they did there. And they came to Bath and we came to see them here and the conversation started. What if? Why not? Let's give it a go. And suddenly here we are. It's very exciting. So do you think Bath has enough room for two celebrity chef egos? There's Jamie who's already here and now you're moving in. Well, I'm not sure that the egos are really too much of a problem. <laughs> I certainly think Bath has plenty of room for great food. And one of the things that is reasons is particularly thrilling for me to, to be now opening a place in Bath is that I honestly had my culinary awakening here when my parents took me out at the age of seven to, uh, to the Hole in the Wall, famous bath restaurant, uh, now as then. Uh, and that really was a revelation. It was my first sort of serious restaurant experience. And, uh, Do you remember what you ate then? Absolutely, yeah. What was it? I had smoked salmon, followed by, it was a Sunday lunch, so it was a roast of the day under a huge silver dome. And I remember the excitement when this chariot was wheeled over to the table <laughs> and the chef rolled over this giant silver dome to reveal a huge sirloin of roast beef. And uh, I was told, I was told uh, you can eat as much as you like. And to a seven-year-old, that's... That's a challenge. Yeah, it's a, cha <laughs> it's a challenge and a, a really exciting thing. And after that, strawberries. It was, a, it was a hot summer's day and they brought in a huge bowl of strawberries. And when I stuffed as many as I could in, in, in my mouth, I remember squishing them in my napkin and watching the <laughs> pink juice just seep through this expensive cotton napkin. And it was just... It, it was a, a, a sort of rite of passage for me, really. It was a, a moment in my life that I'll never forget. And it's great that it happened right here in Bath. Well, Nicky Thompson talking there to Hugh Fernley Whittingstall about the River Cottage Canteen, which has just opened up in Bath.